The table shows the linear relationship between the number of cars C on a commuter train and the maximum number of passengers and crew P, so C and P, that the train can carry. Which equation represents the linear relationship between C and P? So C is the number of cars and P is the number of passengers and crew, the maximum number of passengers and crew. And there's a linear relationship between C and P. So a linear equation is of the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y value at the y-intercept. And we can use these data points to find both of these values. So the slope m is equal to the change in y over the change in x, or the rise over the run. So we can use two points. So let's use these two points here to find the change in y over the change in x. So the first point is 3, 174. So the change in y is going to be 174 minus 284. We're just subtracting this value from this one to find the difference. And then 3 minus 5. That's the change in the value of x. So if we simplify this in our calculator, 174 minus 284 is equal to negative 110. 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 2. And if we simplify that, that's just equal to positive 55. So the value of the slope is 55. Now to find the value of B, we can just use one of these points and plug them into our current form of the equation. We have Y equals 55X plus B. We can actually also rewrite this to use the variables of the equation. So our independent variables, our independent variable, we can make Th that be the the number of cars so we'll make x equal to c and we'll make p the deep de dependent variable the value of y so we'll have p equals 55 c plus b so to solve for b now we can just plug one of these points into this equation so we'll have p be 174 that's the number of passengers for three cars. So we'll make C equal to three. So we'll have 55 times three. And then we'll have the plus B. So we'll just solve for B now. So we'll have 174 here and 55 times three is equal to 165 plus B. And then if we move this to the other side by subtracting 165 from both sides, we'll just be left with 9. So the value of B is 9. So now our final form of the equation, we can replace this value of B now. And put in this 9. So we just found the slope using two points and finding the change in y over the change in x. And then for the value of b, we just plugged in a point. So we just use the first point here for a value of 3 for c. The value of p is 174. And we just plug that in and solved for b. So we got this equation here. But in order for it to look like one of these answer choices, we have to rearrange this equation. And it seems like they moved C and P to one side of the equation and left the constant on the other side. So we can do that simply. So we'll just have the P over here, but we'll subtract 55C from both sides. So we'll have a negative 55C plus P equals 9 on since the 55c is now on the other side of the equation. And it seems like they made the 55c positive, And they made the right side negative. So we'll just 
multiply the whole equation by a negative 1. So we'll have 55c minus p equals negative 9. And that is equivalent to answer choice A.